I don't know that they're going to be able to fix Froebel's. Because the guys understand that they didn't purposely take a shot at Fribbles, right? Fribbles has been out for, what, three and a half years now? Or, or at least other services like it? And everyone's like, oh, but it was TOS, it was TOS. You know what? Using an emulator is TOS. I'm breaking TOS right now, streaming from an emulator. It's against TOS to log on to other people's accounts. It's against TOS to have an alt. There's a whole bunch of stuff that's against TOS. And TOS isn't setting rules for players to play by it's for codifying rules to protect a company from litigation it's all about covering their butts legally and and that's why they only enforce the tos when it's acting in a way that can negatively impact them legally financially gameplay wise etc uh, for example uh you log on to somebody else's account and delete their account Smilegate, you go to Smilegate and say, hey, this Smile guy deleted my account. I de D's nuts. <laughs> All right, Charfade. Um, and, and you go to Smilegate and say, you have to restore my account or I'm charging back. This isn't fair. Some other guy deleted my account. They can point right at the TOS and say, you agreed to not let anybody sign on to your account by the TOS. We don't have to even talk to you about it anymore. We don't have to help at all. We're not financially or legally obligated to solve this problem. This is a problem of your creating because you broke the TOS. It's not about saying, hey, I saw somebody playing on somebody else's account. You need to ban them. Smile gets going to be like, you know, he takes the risk. And if he uh, suffers for it, then that's not our problem. So there's a lot of a lot of TOS language in there is is simply to protect the people making the terms of service. So I don't think Smogate ever had a problem with Fribbles. Maybe they didn't like it so much, but they really didn't care. It wasn't costing them money. If anything, it was engaging, making people engage with the game more. But what they did care about was data mines. Data mines ha are a breach of the NDA when they do collaborations. It spoils con up and coming content. It ruins their hype videos. They don't like it. So they've been looking for ways to patch it. And what they did is change the way the game packets load when you log into the game. You know, in the bottom left hand corner, you see all the packets loading and everything. And that's how Fribbles worked. It sniffed those packets, pulled the information about your gear out of them, and you could import that into Fribbles as a text file. And um, in an attempt to stop data miners, they have changed the way that the packets disseminate, so you can't sniff them like that. And I think it'll probably work. Data miners are clever. They might find another way around it, but it definitely uh, was an attempt to stop that. Fribbles took a stray. His auto importer no longer works. I don't think there's a workaround. He's a smart guy. Hopefully he'll figure something oh. out. But you know what? I mean, all it did was break the Fribbles importer, which is the thing that made it very accessible. If they really wanted to take out Fribbles, they would have made a statement saying, saying so, right? And you can still use it. I'm, he'll probably improve or upgrade the 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 image capture. Maybe he can do something where in the game you just pull up your gear one by one and it auto scrapes the visual data. I, I don't know. Hopefully he comes up with something. But uh, for now, you just got to manually enter your gear, which is a giant pain in the ass. But it's the way those of us who use this kind of software used it for about a year before the importer came out.